This video covers section 128 of Hansen and Quinn's Greek Unintensive Course and tells you how to decline the noun naus, neos, he, which means ship. You'll find this declension and the notes about it on page 472 of Hansen and Quinn. So to understand how to decline this word, you need to remember your third declension endings and here they are with the basic rule that you need to know the nominative and then the genitive and you take off os from the genitive and you add these endings to the stem that you get. But I also want to remind you of the declension for nouns like polis, polios, hey, because it's going to be relevant to some of what happens with nous. So as you remember, Polis has a number of different stems that come into its commonly used declension, and it has a, several different ways of handling how those stems meet up with the third declension endings. So when we get to nous, what we get is the same rules about the third declension, but we have two different stems that we're putting those endings on. So the word ship, naus, neos, he, forms the cases on two different stems. One is now and the other is ne. And what results are these forms. Naus, neos, which is actually coming about from a form that you could think about as ne, that other stem, and os, the third declension genitive singular ending. And by quantitative metathesis, the eta gets shorter and becomes an epsilon, and the omicron gets longer and becomes an omega. The dative singular is on the same stem and simply adds the iota, nei. The accusative singular is on the now stem and simply adds the nu for noun. And the vocative uses that same stem all by itself for when you need to address your ship, which is important. In the plural, we get neas with the ne stem and the regular nominative plural masculine and feminine third declension ending. Genitive plural is neon and we get the shortened epsilon by the same principles of quantitative metathesis. And then in the dative plural, now see, new movable of course, accusative plural, nous and vocative plural neus. And this is all you need to know so that you can recognize the different forms of ship when you see it in the readings in Hansen and Quinn and in Greek in the wild.